At the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park, one of its ships is in trouble. Its beloved destroyer, the USS The Sullivans, DD-537, is in a race against time. Today is April 20th, 2022. What started a week ago today, roughly April 13th to 14th, 2022, the ship started suffering disastrous leaks that began to cause the ship to list at a dangerous rate. Seeing the ship today and hearing from the latest news reports, the ship has been stabilized at about a 22 degree list to starboard side. With massive pumps, as we see, pumping out massive gallons of amounts of water per minute, things are becoming a struggle due to the fact that there is fuel contamination now in the water. With divers getting into the water and anti-pollution booms as seen to the left have been put in place and are going in, we have to wonder just how much extensive damage is there down in the hull of the USS The Sullivans. To the knowledge that is on hand and is available elsewhere, the problems for the USS The Sullivans have been an ongoing issue ever since the ship came here. However, it is basically within the past decade that the problems seem to get a lot worse. For example, it was in 2014 that the division of the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps stationed here, the Sullivans Division, had a mishap that occurred down in the hold of the Sullivans where they were storing their dress white uniforms and as the reports had really believed between 300 and 400 dress white uniforms were lost as it must be noted this was in 2014 the year of the mighty November storm originally slated to be launched as USS Putnam USS the Sullivans was launched in 1943 being christened by Mrs. Sullivans, the mother of the five Sullivan brothers, George, Francis, Madison, Joseph, and Albert. And it is by the name of this ship, it is one of the luckiest fighting ships in the Navy's history, losing not a single man to combat action. One could say that it is the ghosts of the Sullivan brothers themselves that had the capability of protecting the ship from any significant harm other than light injuries. Fighting through World War II, the Korean War, and going even into the Cuban Missile Crisis, this lucky Fletcher class destroyer has seen action that a lot of ships envy to see in their lifetimes. But what we see here is the horrible effect that nature can take when she wishes to do so, especially at such a snowy northern city such as Buffalo, New York. But it does not have to end like this. We all need to have some words of encouragement. And I think I know just how to do that. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm Stephen J. Bukowski, former Sea Cadet of the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps Sullivan's Division. Rank Petty Officer 3rd Class E4. As we all know, the USS The Sullivans is in a state that needs to be addressed and is being addressed, but we all need to work even harder now. We all need to work even harder that not only she, but her fellow ships here, Submarine USS Croker and Cruiser USS Little Rock, all get the same treatment that The Sullivans has. So I am asking everybody out there who views this video Please, do everybody a favor, and please go to the website Save the Sullivans. I will put a link in the description box of this video below. And everybody, please do help donate. Every little bit counts. Because here in the City of Good Neighbors of Buffalo, this not only means much to us, it also means a lot to everybody who comes and views this ship. I am also going to attempt to put out the notification for everybody, everybody in Waterloo, Iowa, the hometown of the Sullivan Brothers. I hope all of you Waterloonans 
will also be willing to support this as well. And I'm also going to put out a special request that anybody who follows any of the museum ships around the world to please help donate. And I put out a special recommendation to the following museum ships. USS Kazan Young, USS Edson, USS Joseph P. Kennedy Jr., USS Kidd, USS Laffey, USS Orlek, USS Slater, USS Stewart, HMCS Haida, and ORP Buiscavicha. Destroyers and destroyer escorts alike, all museum ships, let us help get this ship back off the bottom and make her better than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your consideration. Remember to share this video because every little bit counts. Let's do this.